All right, everyone, welcome back. This is the scenario Until Death, the boss fight scenario of the campaign Invasion from the Unknown. Uh, the previous video was me losing this scenario, or at least getting into a position where it was impossible to win from. I'm going to try and do one better this time. Uh, this is a little bit unusual because I'm going to do a few things I don't normally do. First, I'm going to not bother to voice act any of the stuff that I've already voice acted, um, which is basically... Yeah, quite a lot of stuff. And in addition, I'm also going to probably do some save scumming. Because <laughs> I'm feeling cheeky. Alright, so... Well, Keshar can get in, and if I go in with the Alinea behind him... Two Union hits should easily do it. Get on! Yes. Alright, one leader down. The other one is next up. Gonna have to try and start recruiting earlier this time. Um, tempting to do to use lead in all for this. This guy is super weak, but he has powerful attacks. Um, don't want to go there because that attracts too many bad guys. Oh, go on. Yeah. Oh, that's what I like to see. All right, Erathon gets all four hits and uh, only in, only takes one damage. Okay, I'm doing pretty jammily so far. I might just save this position and come back to it. Um, now, the trick will be to just try and take out this Chaos Lawkeeper with Spectres. All right, good, we've got drones. Who cares? Yes, nice. Ledinor's got a pretty much guaranteed kill. He only needs one hit here. So I'm going to let him take it. Okay, now we're looking in a lot better position. We can recruit undead in this scenario, so that's what we'll do now. Um, let's first try and take out this Zephyr on this side. There are a few units that are popping up here. Um, we got there's some nasty level three demons, level, level three imps over here. Uh, here we've got the Zephyr. That thing's almost dead. Oh, it's a shame you don't do so little damage in this instance, and there too. Alright, probably best to use the other spectre for that, I guess. Lady is quite weakened. Let's get some undead. I'm going to recruit exclusively ghosts here, mainly because my main I need people who can deal arcane damage here. So even though the ghosts aren't very strong, um, yeah, they're still a very useful unit to have around. And hopefully I can avoid what happened last time, which is that everyone got poisoned on turn one. Maybe I can even level a couple of these guys up. There are so many high-level units floating around that it shouldn't be impossible. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is, uh, is the fact that over here we've got a lot of enemy units. So 
So you'll do much more damage if you stand next to her. So you should stand next to her. Twenty damage, not too bad. You go in there and do your thorns. Uh, that wasn't great. Now, question is, should Igor go in from this side? I think from this side, because you'll probably get poisoned. Ah, didn't even get poisoned. Took out that cafe. All right, um, only one of these initial units left. Um, now I'm just going to have to fight off some drones and some imps for a while. And then other stuff happens, dot dot dot. damage to Alinea, which is annoying because I do need Alinea. And I really want to poison Ledinor, but they... There we go. He also needs to survive. Turn two. We know it's not exactly the best time to push forward here. Just gonna save the game because that wasn't too bad. I need to get people into somewhere where they can heal. Just need to hold off for a few turns. Um, Elinia needs to get back up to near to full health. Um, it's tempting to. Now I think I'm pretty sure these blue glyphs. I didn't use them last time, but they return you to full health. Um, so if that's a thing, then that would be very handy. Kind of worried if I go over there with uh, if I go over there with Ledinor, he's going to get batched by all kinds of scary drones in the background. But who knows? All right. So first things first, come over here and uh, there's one Spectre over here. Spectres, of course, are nasty. Uh, I know this role because I have one myself, but otherwise the units that, uh, that Argan has recruited are not terrifying to me. So I'm going to use... I'm going to leave Malkashar where he is. Use him to take out that drone. This drone... Okay. That was pretty weak there from Slashy. Dear, my spectres are not doing well at all now. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, let him know you need to run over here so that you can... Oh no, I've got another plan for that. I must remember my own plans. First instance. Erathon. Okay, you can get the kill with a ghost. 
All right, there are more nasty drones down there. That was predictable. You can reach it, but you still can't use the most efficient route, perhaps. So it'd be nice to get rid of this guy. Let's try and do so with Galas. Don't want to get poisoned, though. Uh, oh well. There we go, no poison. Alright, so you can go over there, and if you do, you will get attacked by this one sentry drone, unless I can block you with someone else. Okay, unslow, unpoison, etc, etc. 42 health and the poison is gone. That's good. Hmm. <clears throat> I'd really like to be able to kill this necrophage. Unfortunately, all of my attack rolls are really bad, so... But, Elinia can, if she wants, go all the way over here. If she does that, she's just going to get attacked by more drones, but maybe the drones that I've fought so far are enough. Let's see. Okay, now if I get poisoned next turn I'll be kind of annoyed, but that is the way of things. And I could, I can use some of these drones to just uh, irritate the enemy player, because the, some of these ghosts, because they can't do anything else. So, I'm gonna, okay, they're gonna distract maybe a couple of these guys. They might prov provide more appealing targets than Ledinor. In fact, if I put one here, then Ledinor is fully blocked, which is what I want to see. Alright, now to put weak drones up front. I um, would like you to get some health back. You can't do that by fighting, unfortunately, because... Okay, you stay there. You come around here, stand next to Mashide. Tempting for you to run some interference as well. Block off some units on this side. So that's what I'm going to do with you. And then let's recruit a ton more ghosts. that recalling is not possible in this scenario. I'm not going to do anything with you, Eagle, because anything that you do will end up just in you getting poisoned or killed. Alright. Argan being all emo. can really hope for from those guys. Oh yeah! Oh no. There is more banter, there are some nasty blue units coming. Brown goes for the poison, but does not succeed.
Ah. Rich and poison. Okay, Alinea is hardly in a better situation than she was before. Um, our ghosts can't reach up here. Malkeshar is looking a bit beaten up, but the spectre is dead. And uh, the units that the Emperor himself has are not looking so terrifying. In the meantime, these sentry drones... Well... You didn't, you didn't bother coming out. That's interesting. Okay, that should mean that I can fly back with you and fight the sentries. Because no one else is going to bother with you. Okay, I'm more worried about the right hand flank for obvious reasons. You've got Sylvan Spark, so if you go and stand in the fire, um, in, not in the fire, in the mushrooms, you should be in a good position, especially because you're quite close to a level. And then Alinea can come and kill one of these imps for me. Garnas can't reach all the way across. Wouldn't have necessarily expected that he could. Um, but I can now do use Malkeshar to union this gut wrencher imp. And down he goes. Well, this is where... okay. A bit of ghost suicide here is not the worst thing in the world. Especially not if I can block people off. Alright, now I'd like to be able to deal with this gutter interim, and spectres are fairly good for that. So, let's try it. Should I even come around this side? I don't think there's anything that's nasty enough to kill a spectre on this side, so it'll give me more possibilities. Okay, now let's see if I can get a kill with a ghost. I need two hits. There we go, very nice. Okay, trying to keep that ghost alive now. You can come up here. Still a bit worried about this flank, still a bit worried about Elinia. Let's try and use the Shide to kill this Blood Imp without dying. Okay. Fantastic. Now Galas, oh you've not got much money left. I thought <laughs> I've been uh, I've been recruiting very uh, aggressively. I think I'm going to recruit retreat from this flank because there's no particular point in being here. So let in all you come up here, and then everyone on this side is going to go. And fight on the other flank. Now, interestingly, I might even be able to lure the Emperor out of his base like this, because he can fight some of the ghosts, which make me, makes me think that putting Galas on the front line would be a bad idea. 
in this instance. What I am going to do, bring a bunch of ghosts back. Parathon, you run over here. You're pretty cool. I quite like to keep you alive, so you run up here as well. And then you guys just defend, I think. Please, there. Uh, you there, and then we should be on in good position. A bit worried about this flank. I think Alinea is going to get some big hits in on her next turn. Um, one question here would be whether I should put Igor up front to tank some damage rather than having Ilinia or the Shide get it. And I think the answer is yes. I've already lost one level 3 unit, but I can just about afford to lose one more, even if it's a lovely hero unit like Igor. This is the end of the campaign after all, so I'm going to plonk Igor here. And that should hopefully make some of my other units a bit more survivable. He's only, there's only 40% 40, 40 chance to hit him, so they're going to have to do a ton of damage if they want to take him out. The Emperor could do it though. He could come over here. And actually, he's probably going to be tempted because he's got ranged attacks. Still, that wouldn't be a bad way to go. You go one more. Okay. Kill! Yes! Alright, we got a Wraith on this flank. Um, or should it be a Shadow? I think a Wraith, because it's going to get bonked otherwise. Might get bonked anyway. Tactical missing there. Alright, the Emperor has not yet been tempted out. Okay, well, Keshar gets bashed by a, an automaton. Everyone's fighting this in just the way I hoped they would. And if it wasn't for this blue player's units, I wouldn't be worried at all. Yeah! Such a good anti shack style unit. Okay, we got dramatic drum music. And we've got... Arg, oh, he's reaching into my mind! And we've got... Marlon Kashar, flashing yellow and red. Can't control his body. And Erethan as well. Okay, got to use a linear to destroy Malkashar. Uh, we're in an okay position for this. He's uh, only on 61 health. Um, and he's on, he's on, he's easy to hit. Um, so if I can get him below 56 health, three hits from a linear would do it. And he's currently on 61. So it's a job for a weak ghost. Uh, your experience the same wouldn't want to lose you. I'll try and use this one, see what happens. Alright, you survive. Surprisingly. Let's go, Alinea. Down goes Malkeshar. Argan randomly takes 16 damage. Weirdly, um, I was kind of hoping I didn't I didn't see this last time, but. Uh, um, I, th I was, kind of, was kind of hoping that Erethun would not, in fact, just randomly die. 
Um, now, the, the, the right strategy now would be to hold off against these drones on this flank and push forward with everyone else. Um, maybe I can distract Erethan, and maybe he'll come back if I can defeat the Chaos Emperor. Chaos Emperor has now got a ton more health. I mean, look at those <laughs> magical, arcane, range, blah blah blah, plague, biomechanical, submerge, yeah. Probably not surprising that uh, a level 6 boss has all these abilities. Um, and now, um, without one of my most powerful arcane units to deal with the outcome of this. Let's just save the game here. Because if I fuck this up, I want to be able to try it again. So for, for pushing through, first thing that's, that's important is that I'm going to need Elenia to be on full health. And for that she should stay where she is, and the Shide should try and do Thorn's damage to this automaton, and someone else can kill it. A bit worried about these blue units, there's two protector drones here, they're quite nasty. And there's a ray blade. Hopefully I'll be able to clear up most of the rest. Another protector, another blue protector drone here. Um, Eagle, you can come round and attack this automaton. You should be able to kill it if you get three hits. Nope, not even close. So someone who, yeah, you, who will get the level if you kill it. Um, you just hop back. Oh, you're kidding me. Can anyone get round? You can get round. Okay, and, and you don't you don't matter. Alright, now you become again I kind of feel like it's still the case that... Well, I don't know, maybe Shadow oh, Shadow would be useful here. I'll have a Shadow. Everyone does such little damage against Automata. Is there any... I think it's Impact. Yeah, Impact, they've only got 10% resistance. Um, and then... Yeah, Fire, only 20%. So you could, if you wanted, come forward, uh, deal with this guy, or try and deal with some of this guy's health. Okay. can't drain anyone here. Everyone here is pretty much undrainable. So I'm going to put you around here and have you hopefully not die. Um, okay, no die, no kill. But you will die next turn. But at least you'll distract some units in doing so. And then the trickiest part is knowing what to do with the rest of these units. So my bane, my my, um, my spectres ought to be okay at this. And here the answer must be Galas. So that was pretty feeble. Lady, you come down here. You go and get some health, if you can. I don't really want you to come and poison Elenia again. Maybe I can prevent that. Another spectre on the front line to deal with these drones. And my wraith. Yeah, you, 
come up here. And you can come down here. Do some nice retribution free damage. And you two can block Herathan in place, and hopefully he won't do anything. Just stand there. Probably kill one of these ghosts. You guys. Gonna leave you where you are. Actually, maybe just use you to kill the automaton. Yeah, there we go. Alright, this is looking a lot better than the last time I played it, and I haven't saved Scummed yet. Gallus is getting whacked, and some Verlish appear. Uh, a bit unlucky here with the ghosts. Okay, so I believe that at this point the only person who can kill the Emperor is Alinea, and anyone who stands next to him is pretty much just going to instantly die. Galas looks like he's going to die as well. Um, he needs to survive, so I can't have that. But I can't really waste any units babysitting Arathan anymore. Okay, so let's put you here. Uh, that may have been foolish, because she's the only unit who can slow the Emperor. It is annoying having only one, <laughs> one possible unit who can even conceivably do damage to the unit that you need to kill. What I can do is use you to attack the Protector Drone, um, and you, can't, you won't kill it, but you could at least do a fair chunk of damage to it. Alright, so you're on 21 health. hoping that would be a kill. Oh well. Uh, you come round here. Kill it. Alinea, you can now go here. And the mighty Union attack can come in. But his attack in return is also incredibly powerful and can almost kill me in one hit. So I ought to do something else about this, and I also need to get Galas into a position where he's not going to get completely battered. Be nice to get to another one of these. Okay, let's see what I can do to him. Ah, now Ledinor needs to survive too, and uh, that involves really kind of keeping him away from the Emperor somewhat.
I think my newfound shadow is probably going to bite the dust. Um, Galas, though, you go out here. Uh, you could die if you do that. But there shouldn't be any, anyone else around who can attack you if you go there. At least not if I put someone here. But who can I put there? Oh! You can't even move. You guys are getting close. I don't need anyone special on the other side of the Emperor. Very worried about poor old Edinor here. Pretty worried about Galas. I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter which one of these of these attacks I use. I guess the glacial gladius is slightly the better one. There we go. Well, he was poisoned anyway, so... Ah! Oh! <laughs> so annoying! And you can't get round. Good. Okay. Alright, Ledinor, you come back here. Good, you're almost dead. All right, gonna save. These attacks are so crucial that uh, if I do badly here, I'm tempted to just reload. Okay, it seemed like something special was going on with the random number, number generator there, but um, that's so good I'm going to save again, because <laughs> that's half his hit points. Okay. In they come to attack Alinea. There are thumb fairly effortlessly up. Down goes Igor. More Verlish. I'll take this unit off. Take this. Uh... There is another drone back there. Okay. Yeah, so Galas goes over here. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. Um, step back one. You can still reach him. Next turn. Next turn we'll get there.
All right, now it's just a matter of killing Argan. And I should be able to do that with Alinea. 38 times 4, so that means actually 3 hits ought to do it. You are hurting me. Elinia, why do you do this? We were meant to be together for the rest of eternity. Do you not love me anymore, Elinia? You, you've become a monster, an abomination. Do you realize, do you really not realize what you've done? What, what Uriah has done to you? Excuse me, did I miss anything? Oh, I guess you haven't managed to strike down that pompous fool yet. Good, good. Malkeshar, thank the Lords of Light. I thought I would never hear you speak again. Do you think you can still help us somehow? Help you? Ha! Of course I can help you. It will take much more than some unfathomable ancient power to put me out of commission, boy. Put an end to this. No! Okay. Um, Elinia's healed, Argan's healed, Argan is now some sort of scary extra sprite thing, um, with 367 health. Can I kill him in one turn? <laughs> um, probably not, because Elinia's done her attack already, Malkashar's too far away. Um, Galas is almost dead, and uh, yeah, this isn't... This isn't looking fantastic, all told. I was kind of hoping Arathon would come back to me, but uh, instead he's just been picking off my ghosts one by one. Alright, save here. He is 367. First thing I need to do is slow him. Poor that ranged attack, though. Bloody hell! Ooh. All right, the Emperor is slowed. What are his resistances in this form? Hopefully this is his final form, as they say. Okay, he's got he's very weak to arcane. That's good. He's pretty resistant to everything else though, including fire. But who can I get in here? There's one one spectre left. Did I really lose two spectres? I'm such a loser. This is a good spot for a spectre. Alright, that was poor. You can do 24 damage, but only if you hit. And actually, is this a drain attack? No, it's not. You don't. A melee boss that doesn't have the drain attack? That makes a nice change. So you should come in anyway. Alright, you can come in and die. Or should you should you rather lure away some of these other units? Maybe that would be the better the better play with you. You come in and deal damage. What the Look out! Those creatures emerge from his body with each hit! Well, not with each hit, fortunately. Um, oh, crud, okay. Well, I'm going to lose my shide. 
And while Keshar can go where the mushrooms are, he's weak. He's got minus 10% hit points. And it looks like he's, yeah, all of his previous maximum level advancements are gone. So poor old Malkeshar is uh, is in a bad way. Hmm. Well, what else to do here? All right, nearly a kill. You can do 17 damage, but you'll probably die. Try it. Okay, that was good. I still, still really rather need the union. Gonna put you down here so hopefully you'll distract either Erethan or some of the blue or yellow troops. No one can range Gallus yet. No one should be able to range Malkashar yet. If 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 more ghosts die then they will, but that's you know. Down goes my side. Rise, fallen warrior! Rise once more, and slay the foe who felled you in your hour of glory! Okay, we got a zombie. Down goes the ghost. Oh no! Alright, down goes my last spectre. Down goes Sothinia the zombie. Okay, it looks pretty much like the end of the line, um, though, though, if I get all five hits, that's 205 damage. If I can kill this guy, so first Galas, you go up there and get your health. Come round here, try and kill this drone. Actually, should I use you for something else? I won't be able to get you into a useful position, so I think the answer is no. Okay, um, now I think this is the point, if there was a point, um, this is the point where I would save Scum to the max.
Um, let's see. Gonna save. was a mere six damage. All right, Ledinor, come on. All right, that leaves me in a position where I cannot possibly kill the big bad. What? And you've got a range slow attack as well. Okay. And now Ledinor's going to die, so I will have to reload. Okay, you bag her off back to your base, why don't you? for me. At last I shall rest. And you lose. Alright, let's go back to that save game. Okay, so you just hop backwards for a moment, Elenia. And I'm going to ask you... So it doesn't make much difference. Alright, you're on 195 health, then Eleni just needs to hit with all five attacks for this to work. Alright, this is the uh, many, many times save scum part. One. Oh no. See, what I'm not counting on here is the fact that Argan actually slows with his ranged attack now, and that is for some reason the ranged attack that he will choose to use against a linear. Um, I guess because it's his best chance of survival. So, hmm. so I'm going to go back to the beginning of turn 7. Okay, so let's try this with maximum saves coming. Um, could come in and actually use Malkeshar to deal damage, and uh, it's, it'd probably get owned, but it's worth a try, maybe. Galas heal. Do need to kill this guy. Well, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just need to kill this guy. Okay, and if you take... Now, the trouble is with this. If Malkeshar takes three hits from the Master of Darkness, he will die. Um, so, I should probably move him back, save the game. And then go in. Yeah. Again. Try again.
This is what eternity feels like, my Pesha. Okay, he survived. All right, good. Um, <laughs> Argan is still on <laughs> so much health that it's still almost impossible for me to take him down. Um, <clears throat> I would still need to hit with everything. Um, so, yeah, okay, well, uh, we're going to go again. wasn't terrible. Try this. Alright, so Eliane needs still to hit with all of her attacks, but she can afford to be slowed at least once. Probably not right at the start. Maybe this is the best plan. Get the Wraith killed. Yeah, but not to get the Wraith killed like that. The Wraith isn't dead, that is not appropriate. Wraith is still not dead. Alright, that's more like it. Oh. 
doing a lot of messing with her first attack here. I'm pretty sure she needs to get two big hits in before she gets slowed. She needs to get three big hits in before she gets slow, doesn't she? Die! What about you? You can go in and get yourself killed as well. Okay, try that. Oyoni! Yeah, okay, hey. Definitely two big hits needed before slowing. No! No! My power falters. It's... it's tearing me apart. So this is the end of the road for me. Ugh. What just happened? The prophecy has been broken. Elinia. You betrayed me. No, Hark. You are the one who betrayed me. Me and the peoples of Erdia as well. The peoples we swore to defend until the end of time. You betrayed everything we stood for. I did nothing but choose the right path for your sake. And this is how you repay me. Then again, I guess I had this coming ever since then. No, you never deserved any of this. If none of this, none of this would have happened if I... In the end, it is not your fault. You said that Uriah turned you into this. What does she really want? What's her goal in enslaving and desecrating Erdia? Well, she will. She will avenge me, that is for sure. And now, without the Union, you cannot, you cannot defeat her. Even if you manage to find her in the heart of Urvatha, it would be suicide. Just as he said those words, Argan's broken body suddenly convulsed, 
releasing a steaming mixture of blood and a thick yellow ooze from his mouth and chest, and splashing everything around him. The bright yellow glow that constantly lit his eyes until moments before began to vanish, little by little, until there was nothing to see but tears. And once Alinea moved closer within his grasp, he violently clenched at her arm, and with hurried breath he asked, Alinea, I beg of you, please forgive me. I allowed this to happen. I allowed her to become who she is now and control me. Promise me that you will never, you will never become. Become? Become what? Argan? Argan? What do you mean? What am I supposed to do? Argan? Argan? No, no, this can't be happening. You can't be doing this. I'm trying to heal you. Don't you see? I... Why don't you say anything? Argan? Malkasha, don't you just stand there and watch. Help me. Help him. There is nothing I can do. His spirit left us too quickly. And to pull him back into the physical realm after that. You do remember why that is the greatest taboo of all, right? At least he may finally rest now. An uneasy silence arose. The Chaos Emperor lay amongst the carnage his mechanical body broken and singed, seeping rivulets of blood that streaked across the patterned floor. And Alinea, it was as if Argon's death had shattered something inside her. She wailed, dragging her hands across the crimson floor, as if she could gather her lover's lifeblood in her hands. I realised then that my presence was pointless. There was nothing I could do to ease her pain. She had held herself together this long by sheer force of will. Now that will was spent. I tightened my grip on my sword as she buried her face in her hands and wept, heedless of the smears of red they left behind. In all this time, I had thought I knew loss. Anlinde, who was like a mother to me, scores of my friends and kinsmen. But in truth, I did not. I did not know the weight of centuries she bore upon her shoulders, nor the heartbreak of dashed hopes and broken promises that now lay prone at her feet. In truth, I could never aspire to become as strong of soul as she. She had foreseen this conclusion long before any of us, yet continued onwards. Would I have had the courage to do the same, were I faced with the same choice? Strike down someone whom I loved? Or die, and let the world suffer for my selfishness? I felt a sudden urge to embrace and comfort her, but I did not. I could not intrude upon her guilt with my own... Uh, sorry, I could not intrude upon her grief with my own foolish feelings. Instead, I turned to Malkeshar and tried to see through his perpetually expressionless face. I had never given much thought to his story or his life. It may have been a silly thought, but for a brief moment I wondered if he had ever felt this loss himself. The way he uttered those words to Alinea seemed to suggest that he had at least researched the subject of resurrection in the past. For power, or to bring back a loved one? I doubt I will ever gain the courage to ask. Argan's journal. It was hidden between beneath his robes. Elinia, my lady, if you allow me to speak my opinion, we should keep it. It may contain information that could prove useful later. Very well, but I should be the one to carry this with me. No one else. Uh-oh. The stronghold is crumbling down. We must leave immediately. At least the Master of Darkness will have a proper burial. We must not waste any more time unless we want to be buried alive. 
Alinea, it's over now. There is nothing more for us to do here. We must focus on surviving. I know. Okay, we are in scenario 23C, Broken Heart, and that is where I am going to pause. Apologies if this part was a little bit less satisfying than the usual parts. Um, I managed to not save scum up to turn 7, but uh, that was some pretty vicious save scumming after that, so... Yeah, um, apologies for that. I will hopefully try and replay this scenario at some point in such a way that doesn't involve save scumming, and um, then we will be able to... Uh, to see, yeah, to see my, my true abilities come forth. I mean, um, that previous scenario, um, it has a few mechanics that I don't particularly like. The um, the mind control mechano, uh, me mechanic, as I said before, there is this tomato surprise thing. If you know that something's coming uh, and it drastically changes the way that you play the campaign, that is really quite bad, I think, in uh, Battle for Wesnoth. So for instance, in this campaign, I mean, no one's going to complete this scenario on their first go. Uh, and so you'll know after you first play it, at least if you survive until turn four, you will know that Mark Eshar is going to betray you, um, or is going to be mind controlled. And once you know that, then you know that the best thing to do is to keep him next to a linear and to ideally make sure that he takes plenty of damage so that he's easy to take down after that. Um, and that obviously changes the way you play the scenario. Arathan, similarly, I didn't know this actually, but um, even if you kill Argan before um, before Erethan dies, Erethan will still not survive. The mind control won't be broken, he will just die, um, along with all of the others of, uh, uh, of Argan's troops. So that's really quite a sort of sad and disappointing thing. You can try and play the scenario quite well, as I think I did there, in order to keep him alive. Um, and it doesn't make any difference, it doesn't affect the, uh, the plot. Um, so yeah. Ultimately, that boss fight is not my favourite scenario in the campaign by a long shot. Um, it's got some nice narrative. It's got uh, Argan relentlessly gaslighting up until the last few breaths, um, saying, yes, I did all of this for you, blah, blah, blah. Um, such a man, such a manly man thing to do. You go, Argan. Um, what an asshole. Um, uh, maybe he didn't think he was doing the right thing, but... Uh, Seems unlikely given the dialogue. He was serving your eye until the end. Alright, enough commentary from me. I will see you again for the next video, which will be just me playing this final scenario, Broken Heart. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you uh, can bear to see any more horrible saves coming. And that's it from me for now. See you later.